G'day guys and welcome to Uncaged Expeditions again. Today I'm just doing a quick trip by myself, solo trip, um, in search for the lucrative snow. I really want to have a snow trip, I want to camp out in the snow. Um, and now because Cape York, that trip to Cape York is actually getting quite soon, um, I only got like, three weeks, three weeks yesterday, so under three weeks to go. Um, so I won't have a, a chance, I don't believe, to do another trip out. So yeah, really want to camp out in the snow. Um, as I said, by myself, everyone was busy this weekend. I just thought, you know what, why not? Jump in the car, grab some stuff and go. Now we're heading up to Mount Matlock um, and Mount Terrible, which is up near Jamison Way, Mansfield Way. Um, and the reports are saying that there should be snow down to a thousand meters. Uh, Mount Matlock, I think, is at nearly 1400, so we should hopefully be right. I haven't been to this area before, so it is something new for me. Um, apparently, the tracks that go up to the tip and things like that, look, they're, they're not extreme, they're not hard. Um, hence why I feel quite comfortable going out by myself. Um, I've got all my recovery gear. Um, I don't recommend going full driving in that by yourself, but you know what? It's quite simple. I've been doing it for a very long time. Uh, and I feel quite comfortable going out by myself. Now, as I said, I don't know the area that well, as in Mount Matlock, Mount Terrible. I don't know camping areas up there, so we're gonna get up there, see how we go. Once we're up the top, probably then I'll grab a map. Maybe I should do it beforehand, but you know. Do things a little bit differently. This trip's just a quick, quick trip, so we'll do things in different orders. Probably not the correct way, but you know what? Sometimes these are the best trips. So, we're on our way there. We're about, about a half an hour out of Melbourne now on the Hume Highway. Um, and yeah, the way that I go, we're going up, going through uh, I think going through Yay, then up to Mansfield. Um, shouldn't be that long, about two and a half hours or so. Um, so just looking forward, forward to a nice cruise. It's about 11 degrees at the moment. I did leave a little bit late, um, about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so I'm going to get there you know, reasonably late. But as I said, last bit of trip. Anyway, got my blue bee with me. Always with me on these trips. And we'll see how we go. Cheers. I 
kind of miscalculated the timing <clears throat> when I said one hour before. Um, that wouldn't get us there. <laughs> now I'm on um, a track. I'm on about. This is saying it's taken me to Corn Hill on the GPS. Elevation 1326. So, let's see how we go. Um, I was just up nice and high just then and no snow, so. Looking a bit doubtful that we're gonna find snow, people. No good. But this drive has taken me a lot longer than I thought it would. Keep on going, see where we end up. come across some snow beautiful wrapped there is a little bit of snow that means we can camp in the snow I don't think there's any real campsites here but I'll just do a quick trip up and have a look if not I'll just find some level ground and that's camp Let's see how we go. I just realised that everything that I recorded before, um, basically recorded, but the volume just really came out really badly. I've got a new setup. Um, it's the DJI Osmo Plus. I've um, got the Rode external mic and everything as well now. Um, still playing around, figuring out how to use it. But there are different mic settings for this one, and when I wear a, a wireless mic, which I also bought as well. So, sorry about that. So we missed out a, a chunk of things, basically. Um, so I've had a bite to eat. Um, they were just um, some sausages, something easy. I arrived at late, uh, at camp late. And by the time I set up and everything, now as you all know, we did find snow. We are camping in the snow. It's not a lot of snow, but it is snow. So, let me show you, let me give you a quick walk around. Now, so, got the fire going. The moon is just trying to come out there. And that's camp. As I said, got the fire going there. And as you can see, snow. I just cooked on the Coleman because um, the fire wasn't going properly. There was no coals to actually cook any food on, so did it on the Coleman, um, eight, and everything's in just a little bit of a mess. 
because I've just had to set up everything quite quickly. And got my ARB swag just there too. Now I've got two of the walls up, one there and one here because the wind is coming from that direction. I haven't put it on this side because I don't really need it and hopefully a little bit of the, if the wind dies down, hopefully a little bit of that heat from the fire um, should maybe even, you know, warm up the swag a little bit. Not by much, but maybe, maybe a little bit. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I'm going to sit down. Let me flip this around. Okay, now. Let me turn that way so you can see me. Now, I'm going to sit down, relax a little bit, um, and take it all in. As I said, I've been wanting to camp out in the snow for a long time, and now I finally have the chance to do it. So, I'm going to enjoy it. Cheers. See you soon. Okay, it's the morning. Just woke up. It's 10 to 7, so I woke up at about 6.30. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Waking up in the snow is just... It's everything I thought it'd be. Now, why I say that, let me grab this light. And let's go for a walk. As you can see, I've started the fire. Getting there, um, everything got covered up in snow. Snow's still coming down slightly. But how's that for a campsite? Beautiful, isn't it? And you can see when I put the light there, how the snow's still coming down a little bit. actually coming in on an angle too. So I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's coming down straight. Good amount of little powder there. I must say, it is actually pretty cold. So, I think I'm going to make something warm to have for breakfast and sit by the fire. Now, the swag did get a bit of condensation on the inside of it, um, which is the first time I've ever got that, but it's probably the coldest conditions I've ever slept in too. So, I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably just wipe it down a little bit, get a little bit off it, and then... When I get home, open it up and aerate it, dry it out all properly. Okay, now, time to have something warm to eat and relax a little bit. Now, it was a six and a half hour trip to get in here, a bit much for one night. Um, so, I think we might have to start making some tracks pretty early and so I'll have breakfast, relax a little bit, and then start packing up probably. Anyway, that's it for now. <clears throat> Halfway through packing up, just thought I'd come out and show you a little bit more at here, um, now that the sun has come up a little bit. It's a beautiful area. I love the place and the coordinates in the description. Um, I just can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, it's near the tower on, um, I just can't even think of the whole area. Yeah, anyway. Have a look how beautiful this spot is. A little bit of ice has melted off the car now, a bit of snow.
as you can see here. Really foggy still. That frost is still in the air. Had a little bit of snowfall overnight. Um, but yeah, it's not much, as you can see. That's why as the weather picks up a little bit, the temperature, sorry, um, even a little bit, just above freezing point. Well, I'd say it's probably zero or so now, but it's just not enough to melt it or produce more. But beautiful camping spot. As you can see, got the windscreen wipers up as well. Don't want them freezing to the window. And now, as I said, it's my first time camping in the snow. Absolutely loved it. Um, it's just different. So, brilliant. Highly recommend it. For those of you that haven't, haven't, had it done, uh, haven't done it yet, give it a go. It is brilliant. Brilliant. Love it. It's, can't think of any other words to say. Like, it is absolutely spectacular. And the fire, I'm just letting it die down now. And by the time I pack up everything, um, as you can see, I've packed up the swag already. Um, my food box. The table's all been wiped down, ready to get put away. So most of it's all packed. Um, so now I'll just dust all the ice and snow off the top and pack it all away. And then once all that's done, Put the fire out. And then it's time to go home. Drive home. Beautiful. I thought that this trip would only take me about four hours or so, four and a half, maybe five. It took six and a half, nearly seven hours. So I have to leave a little bit earlier than I was anticipating to make it home. Because uh, we do have plans. Um, we're actually meeting up with Thrace because um, we're going to be talking about Cape York. And Thrace is also picking up his new caravan, which you will see up in Cape York. Anyway, that's it for now.
Okay, left camp about five, ten minutes ago. Um, just driving back out, the long journey home now. Um, and spectacular. It's 10.30, it's negative one degrees at the moment, and it is snowing at the moment. Absolutely beautiful. I said, it's 10.35, so say we left camp at 10.30. See how long it takes us to get home. I'm assuming about six, six and a half hours. That's how long it took us to get in. It took me to get in. Let's just see how we go. Did I tell you? It's snowing. It is snowing outside. Absolutely beautiful. I wish I had another night to stay here. Spend the whole day around the campfire. Absolutely beautiful, but unfortunately I don't. As I said, we're on a bit of a time schedule. Um, don't have a lot of time left now before Cape York. But making the most of it. It's all about getting out here and enjoying. One night, two nights, three nights. Look, it's never enough, let's be honest. Never enough. You can come out here for a week, two, three, a month. And you know what? Still not enough. But we take it as we can. One night, two nights, whatever it may be, may just get out here and enjoy it. It's what it's all about. Okay, just look at the GPS here. Camp. I'm just trying to find out where camp was for you. Corn Hill. Camp was at a place called Corn Hill near Mount Matlock, the fire tower. Um, probably about a K or so away. Um, I would have liked to have gone a little bit higher. I think Mount Matlock Tower is about 100 metres higher, um, but arrived very late last night. And to be honest, just wanted to get set up. Um, and the whole the whole point of this trip was to camp out in the snow. And you know what? It wasn't a lot of snow, but it was enough just to just to put out that fire that I had that I really wanted to camp out in the snow. Anyone that knows me, when I got my, when I put my mind to something, you know what, I just really need to do it, accomplish it. Um, and yeah, camping out in the snow was one of the things that I'd set out for myself for this trip, uh, for this winter, and finally did it. Now, we're back from Cape at the end of August. You know what, there may still be snow around. Um, and if there is, there'll be another trip up here, don't you worry. Yeah, let's keep on driving, trying to get out of here in time, um, and try and make it home in time. Okay. And I think I should stop some lunch somewhere. Breakfast, lunch, somewhere. Maybe we, when I stop to air up, um, maybe I'll stop then.
well, just stopped at this um, camp, just have a bit of lunch on the way home, and it is beautiful. As you can see, just made some sandwiches, some salami, some tomato, cheese, beautiful, nice and simple. All from the back of the car, pack up's easy, just put everything in the trash bag at the back, and then we'll worry about it when we get home. Now, have a look at this campsite. <clears throat> there are toilets there as well. Now there are a lot of campsites I found along the Mansfield Woods Point Road um, and every, I don't know, it seems like every 500 metres to a, a K there's a different campsite to stay at. Um, so I highly recommend coming out here, having a look, going for a drive through. This area is absolutely stunning if you haven't been through before. Now that's it for this trip, just going to make the long, long drive home now probably straight through. Um, I filled up in Mansfield with diesel on the way up so I got more than enough to make it back home. Um, so I guess this is where the trip ends and that's about it. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick quick getaway um, and stay tuned. Hopefully uh, Cape York won't be too far behind this trip. Anyway, this is what it's all about guys. Break the cage and get outdoors.